What's happening, y'all? This is Mike D with Black Fathers Now, where we're bringing the village to the brothers. Every couple of weeks, you can look forward to a quick inspirational message or a thought-provoking guest with knowledge and wisdom all geared towards helping you be the best father that you can be. We're bringing the village to you. Now is your turn to do something with what you learn. All right, y'all. Let's go. What's going on, fellas? This is Mike D, Mr. Double Down on You, with another episode of Black Fathers Now. And you know, um, hope you've had a great week, great weekend, great day, great afternoon, depending on what time you're listening to this. I hope everything thus far has been great. And if it has not been great, guess what? You're still here. Therefore, you have the opportunity to change it. Again, I hope everything has been great thus far. But guess what? You're still here. If it's not been great, you have the capacity and the opportunity to change it. Everything starts right now. What's done is done. What's to come, we don't know. But what you have is right now. What are you going to do right now with the moment? And so today's quick episode, I'm going to talk about how your body is literally made up into three parts, spirit, mind and body, right? How you are made up into three components, spirit, mind and body. But like components of your body, when something is at a deficit, the other parts overcompensate. You are made up of three parts, spirit, mind, and body, okay? But like your physical body, when something is hurt, other parts of your body overcompensate to account for that hurt or injured part of your body. So think about your life from the standpoint of the three components that I mentioned, spirit, mind, and body. If you are spiritually strong, if you are physically strong, if you are mentally strong, if you have a lot of things in place, which allows you to continually operate at a high level spiritually, mentally, and physically, then it's almost like you're balanced, right? Your spiritual components tap in when they need to. Mentally, you know when to tap in. Physically, your body can tap in. Everything works harmoniously to operate in an efficient and effective manner. But when you have some level of physical deficit, that's when your spiritual and your mental faculties tend to overcompensate because physically you can't do it. So that's when mentally folks say, oh, well, I'm going to will my way into something. Or from a spiritual perspective, we tap in to the Holy Spirit. We tap in to that supernatural power that's there for us to overcome what we need to overcome because physically we just can't do it. Think about that. Think back to like a, like a, like an ailment. Like if you hurt your right leg, usually you limp favoring your left leg because your right leg is injured. Your body naturally compensates for a deficit. So if you have some type of physical ailment in the spirit, mind, body setup, mentally, and spiritually, you tend to overcompensate for the physical ailment. But what if you have some level of mental deficit? There's something mentally that's going on. Then the other two components of who you are tend to overcompensate. I have a mental deficit. So spiritually, you know, that has to overcompensate for that mental deficit. And maybe physically, I'm just going to push my body because mentally I'm having some issues. Right. That overcompensation to account for a deficit. But what if we're spiritually void or we have some spiritual deficits? Then you hear people who some people who maybe are not of faith or folks that don't believe in a higher power. You know, they're all about mindset and their will and your work ethic. So it's for them. It's all physical and it's all mental. But there's a spiritual deficit there. Again, think about this whole compensation model where your body or you who you are tends to slide into areas needed and or necessary to compensate for deficits. But I said all of that to say this. 
Our goal is to not just be spiritually strong. Our goal is to not just be mentally astute and strong. And our goal is to not just be physically strong. It's to work on all three areas. Now, we're not perfect. We're going to have issues. We're going to have challenges. But our goal is to make the most of all three areas. So don't just hit the gym and train your body. Don't just read and fill your mind and don't just pray and feed your spirit, right? Let's do it all. But then let's find ways to harmoniously bring it all together so that we can walk in purpose and do what we're supposed to do at the highest level because we're gifted with these three components for a reason. We're gifted with these three components because we're supposed to use these three components. Again, when you have a deficit in one of the three, other parts of you overcompensate. But when you're strong across the board or you're continuously working on building your strength across the board, then you don't have to overcompensate in any particular area. So let's grow spiritually. Let's grow mentally. But then let's also grow physically and become the best version of who we are supposed to be and who we are capable of being, who God designed us to be. Again, you're not going to be perfect. And it's not about setting a target to be like someone else. It's just about being the best version of who you can be. But that's going to require you to grow spiritually, mentally, and physically. All right. Well, hey, fellas, I hope this is something you can put into practice, but I hope this is something that will challenge you to take a look in the mirror and see, you know, what areas of your life need improvement. Do you need to spiritually grow or do you really feel like, you know, there's a deficit there? I really need to, you know, pray or get with um, one of my spiritual leaders, or a minister and you know, dive into the Bible or understand things, get into some group study, some Bible study to really think about stuff differently, but then to challenge myself on applying it, maybe I need to grow there. Mentally, do I need to challenge myself? Have I kind of put myself on mental cruise control where I've not challenged myself to grow intellectually? Have I not intellectually stimulated myself? Have I not worked on, you know, developing the intellectual will to do things? Maybe I need to grow there. Physically, which is typically the easiest one because we can look in the mirror and see physically what we need to change. Do I need to do some things that are different? Do I need to change my eating habits? Do I need to change my activity level? Do I need to sleep better? You know, do I need to go see a physician or a healer or somebody to kind of help me to jumpstart this, you know, this change from a physical perspective? Everybody's going to be different. But if we have a deficit in any one of those three areas, the other two components are going to have to overcompensate. And in a lot of instances, we're going to sell ourselves short. All right. Well, hey, fellas, as always, make sure to subscribe, share this thing out, take action, be the best version of who you can be. Be great fathers, be great husbands, be great men, but walk in purpose. And until next time, y'all be blessed, well and wise. And I'll holler at you. Peace. Yo, fellas, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And always, always, always visit BlackFathersNow.com as well as follow Black Fathers Now on virtually every social media platform you can think of. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. Just follow us and, uh, and engage with us, man. Look forward to hearing from you. And uh, I guess until next time, I'll holler at you. Peace.